Damn, one to 100 for bucket washing or one to 10? How the hell do I dilute that? What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Glass Garage where we make detail and simple. My name is Sock and today I have something special for you guys. So today we're going to be talking about how to properly dilute your chemicals and you're here wondering how do I do it because a bunch of companies have 1 to 10, 1 to 15, 1 to 30, 1 to 6, 1 to 7, whole bunch of dilution ratios but don't worry, no fear. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually properly dilute your products and a bunch of cleaning companies and car detailing companies are coming out with products in concentrate form so that way they pass on the savings to you and that is pretty much the reason why now the only tedious task that we have to do is go ahead and mix the chemicals ourselves so i'm going to go ahead and talk about the four products you need to go ahead to properly dilute your chemicals number one is most important is distilled water you want distilled water because this is the purest form of water. You don't want any type of minerals, no purified water with minerals in there or tap water. You want to use distilled water. This way over time is say in a couple weeks or so, the chemicals does not start stinking and that's what causes the chemicals to stink afterwards and it will shorten the shelf life greatly. Now, the other thing is shelf life that a lot of people will ask is how long would it last after you dilute the product? It will last however, it, it, however long it's supposed to last. If, if a company makes a, cleaning product that is you know already ready to use in a proper dilution ratio it should last the same amount of shelf life as if it's coming from the factory that's pretty much it the second thing you need is of course while you're here is your actual product in concentrate form any sort of measuring cup whether it's a measuring cup or you could use a pro blend if you're doing in small quantities these pro blends are up to three ounces to go ahead and give you the proper dilution ratio. And the last thing is just a calculator. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring you this product right here. So this is OP Grime, but just for context, a lot of companies either put one to 15 or 15 to one, sometimes the numbers are reversed. So always remember that the largest number is always water and the smaller number, which is typically always one or it is one, is always the product. All right, so the larger the number, it's always the water and the smaller number is product. For example, here's one to 30. So obviously we need 30 parts water to one part, to one part um, product. That's about it. So I have a whiteboard here. We're gonna go ahead and talk about it. I'm gonna keep this very short. I have a couple scenarios and some things important for you guys to note. So that way you get your proper dilution ratio. All right, everyone. So here's the whiteboard and I was doing the examples, but then I got cut off, but pretty much I have this into two different categories. So you guys go ahead and understand. So dilution ratios is less than or equal to the total number of ounces your bucket or bottle holds. And the right one is dilution ratios where the dilution ratio is greater than the total number of ounces your bucket or bottle holds. So here I have some examples and we're gonna go ahead, ahead and talk about this. So as I stated earlier in the video, if a company tells you one to 15 dilution ratio, how do you do that? And this is easy because it's owner's pride. So here is an example. So we want to make a one to 15 dilution ratio for a 16 ounce bottle. This is why I mean if the dilution ratio is less than or equal to the total number of ounces, this method will work every single time. So what you do is you add the one plus 15, which will give you 16, and then we're making it into a 16 ounce bottle or 16 ounces because that's the bottle that it holds or that's the dilution ratio that you want for it to be in, in those amount of ounces. So you divide 16, divide that by 16 equals one. So now what you need is 15 ounces of water to one ounce of product, which will go ahead and give you a total of 16 ounces. You never wanna put 16 ounces of water than one ounce of product because what you're trying to do here is make a 16 ounce bottle. And here in America, we work in ounces. So consider these dilution ratios always as ounces. So say this is one ounce of product to every 15 ounces of water. That's the best way I like to learn and teach it that way. 
So we're gonna go ahead and move on to Maniacs, which is diluted one to five for a 16 ounce bottle or 32. But what we're gonna do is just, um, I'm gonna do both here that I already did. So what you do is you add again the one to five. So one plus five equals six. And we're trying to make it into a 32 ounce bottle. So you go ahead and divide on your calculator. You always divide the bigger number to the smaller number always so you're going to put 32 divide that by six which will give you 5.3 ounces you're going to get 5.3 ounces so that means you're going to put um that means that means in order to make a 32 ounce bottle into a one to five dilution ratio you're going to put 5.3 ounces of product so you can go ahead and round up if you want so for example we're gonna say it's 5.5 ounces of product that we're gonna put. So here is the example. So you put 32 minus 5.5, right? So we rounded that up. So now is we need 26 ounces of water. So for the 32 ounce, we need 26 and a half ounces of water. And then we're going to need 5.5 ounces of product that's it simple as that same thing applies for the 16 ounce bottle so instead of 32 ounces is a 16 ounce bottle so you can put 16 divide that by 6 and you're gonna get 2.6 ounces and then you go ahead and put you know you could round down if you want put 2.5 so you're gonna need you know 14.5 ounces of water etc or or 13.5 ounces of water and 2.5 ounces of product to go ahead and make a 16 ounce bottle that is a one to five dilution ratio now the most complicated ones i know that now we're getting more into the more complicated ones is when car pro d scale for example here it tells you dilute one to 100 for a bucket wash so what does that mean right so everybody has a they use one, one gallon, two gallons, three gallons, four gallons to do a bucket wash. That is great, but everybody's different. So here, of course, one gallon is equal to 128 ounces, two gallons are equal to 256 gallons, uh, ounces, and so on and so forth. So what you do is the same thing again. You add the dilution ratio. You always wanna add these two. So 1 plus 100 equals 101. So that means that for every, um, now that means it's 101, we're using it for a, 200, uh, for a two gallon wash. So we have 256 ounces inside a two gallon bucket. So what we're gonna do is 256, divide that by 101, which will go ahead and give you the two and a half ounces in there so hopefully this makes sense and for the last one explain it as well together and the small plus is one to ten dilution ratio for a 24 ounce foam cannon or 36 ounce do it however you want but pretty much one plus ten gives you 11 24 divide that by 11 will give you 2.1 ounces so you're going to need 2.1 ounces of snow plus and uh, in, of snow plus to go ahead and make your 24 ounce bottles to be a 1 to 10 dilution ratio so remember you could round this down so all you're going to need is 22 ounces of water and then you add the remainder to complete your 24 ounces of product so hopefully this makes sense here now you could do this your math will never go wrong you could try any dilution ratio you want if the dilution ratio when you add these two numbers together is always less than or equal to the total number of ounces your bottle holds now once in a while we do get these special occasions where the dilution ratios if you add them up are greater than the total number of ounces or sometimes you don't want something that's overly concentrated so here i have for example op grime so op grime is one to thirty dilution ratio and we're trying to make an interior clean product but we don't have a 32 ounce bottle we don't have all we have is a 16 ounce bottle so if you add 30 plus 1 gives you 31 and then um, 
and then we're trying to put it into a 16 ounce bottle as you can see the dilution ratio when you add it up is greater than the total number of ounces your bottle holds so the way you do this on your calculator now is you divide the smaller number to the bigger number so it's 16 divide that by 30 which will go ahead and give you 0 0.5 ounces so that is how you get your dilution ratio is correct when the dilution ratio is greater than the total number of ounces your bottle holds. So here we have a special product. We have Owner's Pride Eco Wash, which is dilutable one to 512 ounces, meaning that um, 512 ounces is what? Four gallons of water. But a lot of times, a lot of people don't use four gallons of water every single time to do a rinse -less wash. So for, uh, for a lot of us, it's overkill. So we go ahead and say we want to dilute it for a two ounce, for two gallons. So how do we do that? So it's the same thing. You add the two, so 512 plus, five, uh, plus one gives you 513. So you divide 256, divide that by 513. So 256, divide that by 513. We'll go ahead and give you 0 0.499 ounces. Pretty much it is five ounce, uh, half an ounce so you're gonna put half an ounce of product into your two gallons to go ahead and give you the perfect dilution ratio for that simple as that and last but not least this is a this is very much overkill but this is just for practice sake is say you want to make a DIY rinseless wash and you want to make it just for a 16 ounce bottle nothing else nothing more how would you do that when the dilution ratio is 1 to 256 and you're trying to make it for a 32 ounce bottle? How do you do that? Same thing. You add these two. So 1 plus 256 will give you 257. Then you're going to divide 32. You have to divide the small number to the bigger number because the total number uh, the dilution ratio, if you add them up, is, is greater than the total number of ounces of your bottle or your bucket. So 32, divide that by 257, and we're going to do this together. So 32, divide that by 257. We'll go ahead and give you 0 0.1 or equal to 0 0.1 ounces i don't know how you're going to go ahead and put 0.1 ounces in a 32 ounce bottle but that is pretty much easy to go ahead and explain and the same thing is if you want to make a gallon of course by simple math what is half of 256 is 128 so you're not going to put one ounce you're going to put half an ounce but i will show you how the math still stands in this way so if you want some one to 256 to one and one gallon you're going to go ahead and again you're going to divide 128 to 256 which will equal to 0 0.49 whatever ounces or 257 and that's how you go ahead and get your dilution ratios so hopefully this explains it i know this is a 10 minute video probably 13 minutes total but hopefully this explains it. Hopefully you guys learned something. And I really want to talk about this because it, it's very easy, very simple. And you will never get this wrong if you use this method. And yeah, so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys found this helpful. And other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.